We're now one minute and 30 seconds away from the undocking of Atlantis from the station. The team here in Houston reporting that pressurized mating adapter number two, uh, which is what forms the connection between the station and the shuttle, is under the process of uh, setting up the hooks to release the orbiter. At, once those hooks are released, there are some springs that will push Atlantis away from the station. And that will occur one minute from now. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds from undocking. Houston in station physical separation. Houston copies. Undocking confirmed at 3.53 a.m. Central Time. The crew of Atlantis now departing the International Space Station after almost a week. And Nicole Stott now beginning her journey home after 87 days of living aboard the complex. Once again, undocking confirmed at 3.53 a.m. Central Time. Atlantis and the International Space Station passing 216 miles above the Atlantic Ocean, excuse me, the Pacific Ocean, just to the northeast of New Guinea. United States Space Shuttle Atlantis and International Space Station crew member Nicole Stott departing. The crew on board the International Space Station ringing the traditional bells as an expedition crew member departs. Atlantis's jets have been uh, re-enabled at this point in time. The shuttle is about 15 feet away from the station. The Expedition 21 crew uh, saying their final farewells to Nicole Stott, who is now a member of STS-129 on board the shuttle, on her way home. Once again, she is the final Expedition crew member who will come home aboard a shuttle. This is Houston. We see the station in attitude control. Station copies. Thanks, Drew. Can you give me their uh, current attitude?
Space Shuttle Atlantis, now under the control of STS-129 pilot Barry Wilmore, continuing to back away from pressurized mating adapter number two. And the Harmony node on the International Space Station, once again undocking confirmed at 3.53 a.m. Central Time. The two spacecraft were 216 miles above the Pacific Ocean, just to the northeast of New Guinea. They spent six days, 17 hours, and two minutes docked with one another. Atlantis delivering two gigantic express logistics carriers with uh, tons of spare parts for the station. Atlantis Houston, big loop with the station attitude coordinates for our pop. Three spacewalks uh, conducted by yeah, Mike Foreman, Bobby Satcher, and Randy Bresnik. 5.5. Yaw, 1.3, roll, 1.1. Thank you. And Nicole Stott on board Atlantis now on her way home after 87 days aboard the International Space Station. Once again, she is the final expedition crew member to come home aboard a shuttle. From this point on, the rotations of the expedition crew members will all be done on Russian Soyuz vehicles.